I look at the floor a lot, like right where I'm looking right now, it's because that's where I have my iPad, which is where I have my notes. Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my newest video. Today, we're going to be talking about something that probably most of you have made. If not, shame on you. Resolutions are something a lot of people make. I don't have a fancy definition, but pff. So, New Year's Resolution, it's basically in the Amber Dictionary is when somebody is all like, okay, this year I want to get better at skiing. So my New Year's resolution is to get better at skiing this year. Or somebody else will be like, I want to lose 10 pounds this year. So their resolution is to lose 10 pounds in that year. And usually they like work towards their reg resolution for about the first week, two weeks, month, month and a half-ish, and then they kind of stop trying. This year I don't want to do that. Um... <laughs> I feel like people say that every single year, but this year I really, really, really have goals that I want to work towards. So let's get into talking about what they are. I decided this year to have a quote that I keep in mind all year and a word that I keep in mind all year. Um, the quote that I picked is, know your worth, then add tax, which is just... It's pretty self-explanatory. It's knowing what you deserve and then expecting more from people, demanding more from people. And then the word that I chose for this year is respect. Respecting myself, respecting other people, but also demanding that other people also show me respect. Um, yeah, <laughs> which is all part of self-respect, because if I didn't respect myself, then I wouldn't force other people to respect me. So here are, like, my resolutions. I'm just gonna read them, because it's easier than trying to, yeah. And I might expand on them a little bit, but. So my first one is to respect myself. Know what I'm worth and what I want, and demand to be treated that way. Also, not putting myself down. So basically what the word of the year is respect self-respect demanding respect from other people it's also respecting other people i don't want to i don't want to be like oh you have to respect me but i'm going to treat you like trash because your sense of style is not the same as mine like you can't you can't do that that's hypocrisy like i'm going to demand respect but i don't need to respect you like that's no we're not trying to do that this year either my next one is to be real and sincere. So to rediscover who I am because the last two years I've kind of gotten lost. Like 13 and 14 year old Amber, even like 12 year old Amber didn't know who they were. We're coming back this year. We're coming back strong. We're going to figure out who the heck Amber Sweet is and we're going to be her to the best of our ability. And my last resolution is to stop caring too much. Not to stop caring. You can ask my friends, and I think they would agree with this as well, that one of my strongest qualities is I'm very caring. I try to go out of my way to make sure my friends are okay and the people I care about are okay and do what I can for the people I care about. But on the other hand, here's the thing. <laughs> there are two kinds of people in the world. There's the kind of person who doesn't trust anyone until you give them a reason to trust you and then there's the kind of people who trust everyone until you give them a reason not to i'm the second person both ways can have negative effects like people if you don't trust people until you get until you're given a reason to trust them well first of all you're well guarded you know you won't get hurt as much and taken advantage of but on the other hand people could be like oh she's difficult she's not a good friend she's not friendly you that people could also think that but honestly no you're just guarded so there's that and then on the other side of things if you're very friendly i again i'm not trying to be like oh i'm friendly <laughs> um but i do consider myself a friendly person and a caring person and a nice person and a sweet person to be around um, but also, you can get taken advantage of very easily. I learned that many times because I have to keep relearning it from every single person. 
And sometimes um, they hurt me and I still forgive them and I let them. And giving people second chances isn't a bad thing. It really isn't. Big, second chance is fine. But if they mess up again and it's like the same thing, then that's where you should draw the line, in my personal opinion. But I don't do that. I let them keep, I let people keep hurting me in the same way over and over and over again. And so this year, I don't want to do that. Once they've shown me that they really don't care, and again, I probably will end up giving them a second chance, maybe in the third chance, because that's the person I am. But after they've, and like, I guess it's a little different if they hurt you one way, and like, at one extreme, and then hurt you at the other extreme, like, that's a little bit different, I feel like, but once they've hurt you, and then they hurt you again the exact same way, let them go, and I have issues doing that, so this year I want to really do that because I'm tired of being taken advantage of, and being trampled on and being used. Moving on to my goals. So, I talked about this in my vlog. I don't know which vlog, but pff, doesn't matter. It was one of the vlog mistakes. <laughs> on my second channel, speaking of which, it's linked in the description. If you're not subscribed to my second channel, you should go subscribe. I do behind the scenes videos, and blooper videos, and vlogs. <laughs> And it's fun, so you should go check it out. So my goals for this year, which again, I talked about this on my second channel, is to follow my workout rules, which I have three rules. Never miss a Monday, never miss three days in a row, and never miss a weekend, which for me is only Friday. I talked about this on my vlog too, which is only Friday and Sunday because um, for me, Saturday is my Sabbath, and I was raised that working out on Saturday on Sabbath is not a thing you do. I'm not trying to condemn you and be like, oh, you work out on your Sabbath, so you're going straight to hell, because, like, that's, that's not it. That's really, no. I was, it's just the way I was raised is, you don't do that. So, weekend for me is Friday and Sunday. So, my second goal is to weed out fake friends, because <laughs> I know I have, like, two right now, but again, because I care too much, I'm hanging on to them, I'm like, no, but they're good people, they're just... And they are good people, they're just not good to me. But I keep giving them more chances and I'm like, but but they they do care about me and they do, and in all reality they don't. Rose colored glasses if you will. And yeah, so that's pretty self explanatory. Bye bye fake friends in 2020. My third goal is to commit myself to my hobbies. I really want to focus on photography, writing, music, and YouTube. I want to be more focused on that and in tune and get better at it. So yeah, which it's a pretty basic one but that's like one of everybody's. My last real goal is to write a page every day. So basically at the end of every day what I'll do is I'll sit down and I'll write what happened that day and it'll be one page a day, one chapter a month, one book a year. And I think I want to probably end up doing that for like a good portion of the rest of my life as well starting this year. So I will keep you posted on whether I actually do that or not because a girl is really bad at keeping a journal slash diary, but we're going to try really hard this year, so. And then the last thing I have written down here is to better myself by following my resolutions. And that's pretty self-explanatory. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below any resolutions that you have for this year. Comment down below what videos you want to see me do this year. Um... Subscribe if you're new, turn on the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. As I said earlier, go check out my second channel, it's linked in the description. And always remember, if you don't think you belong anywhere, you probably belong here. Bye! See you next week!